morning dear students today we are going to see what econometrics is all about econometrics is a recently originated subject which has actually changed the entire thought process that is related to economics the economist is now a researcher who can be compared to a doctor who is doing a post mortem we are trying to analyze what are the factors that causes certain phenomena just as the way how a surgeon detects what are the causes for the death of a particular person while doing post mortem here the only difference is that we equate it to certain phenomena certain theories you link it with the theories and then you study for example in economics we always hear about demand and price the relationship between demand and price is a historical one we all know what is the relationship between demand and price is it is a negative relationship when price increases demand decreases and when price decreases demand increases so the historical relationship can be depicted as follows this is the demand curve let us not take it as demand you have price on the y axis and quantity demanded on the x axis what is the role of econometrics in this the theory says that price is determined by a lot of factors the first one is preferences taste income then cost etc there are many factors which actually determine the price similarly the demand is determined by demand is a function of price the taste of the consumers income of the consumer preference of the consumer and etc 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 so when you analyze the price of a particular commodity let us say rice you don't know whether the price let us say which is price is equal to 10 rupees this price is the result of the demand or whether it is the result of the taste of the consumer whether it is the result of the income of the consumer or whether it is the result of the other factors so for convenience in economics we say that satire is paribus this is an assumption which says that other things remaining the same and by this you study the impact of demand the impact of demand with respect to the price or in other words we can say that you analyze what are the factors that determine the quantity a consumer buys and it is here that you need the help of econometrics because sometimes when you assume that the price of rice is expected to be 10 rupees this need not be the case it can be 12 sometimes it can be 5 rupees so our expectations go wrong what could be the reasons behind it this is exactly what economic econometrics does it actually helps us to segregate the impact of each factors or to be precise it helps us to understand the contribution of each factor in setting up the price of a commodity or let us say that the contribution of each factor in determining the price or the demand or in whichever way we want we can put it so in one way or other this helps us to quantify so what is econom econometrics economics we know it is the study of the human relationships with the wealth and the wealth of the nations and the production productive resources and the output of the economy so how do we define econometrics econometrics is nothing but 
the relationship between three factors. Now what are the three factors? Econometrics is the relationship between economic theory statistics and mathematics. Economic theory, statistics and mathematics. It helps us to understand how the statistical inferences and the mathematical problem solving aspects are incorporated into analyzing the various aspects of the economic theory. So, it is here that we come across the phenomena of econometrics which has actually contributed in quantifying or which has contributed a lot into the empirical research work done by the economists all over the world. So, what is the methodology of econometrics? First, we state the theory or hypothesis. There is a huge role played by the theory or hypothesis in economics as well as in econometrics. The theory is a very important factor because unless and until you know the theory or you are thorough with the theory, any econometric analysis will be an impossibility. So what do we do first? We state the theory, statement of the theory. So this forms the first capsule of the flowchart. Then we go for the mathematical specification. Mathematical specification of the model. This forms the second capsule of the flowchart. So first you state the theory and then you have the mathematical specification. Then then we specify the econometric model, the statistical or econometric model. The model is being specified. We specify the model. After this, we specify the model which we have to analyze. After that, you obtain the data. Now, after obtaining data, what is it? that is remaining. We have the testing of the data. Yes, very good. We test the data, we obtain the data, we test whether the data is in confrontation with the theory or not. And if the data is in confrontation with the theory, then we accept the theory. Otherwise, what do we do? Otherwise, we reject it. See, for example, let us say that demand is equal to the function of price. Now you obtain the data for this. The theory behind demand and price states that there is a negative relationship between demand and price. When price increases, demand decreases and vice versa. So in order to test this, you get the samples from the market. Let us say you are buying orange. orange. We have the quantity of orange, you put it in the form of tables and the price of orange. Let us say when the price of orange was 10 rupees, the quantity of orange bought was 5 kilo. When the price of orange increased to 20, what happened to the quantity of oranges purchased? It decreased to, let us say, 4 then it becomes 30, it becomes 3, then it becomes 40, it becomes 2. Let us assume that this is the way how it is being done. You collect the original data. This is a hypothetical example which I have given here. Now in the same way, students, you can go to the market, collect the data and then you can analyze it. Now you form a linear equation. Why do we go for a linear equation? We go for a linear equation because that is the simplest form of mathematical analysis. See, a normal mathematical equation will be of the form it will be of the form 
y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x. Let y be demand and x, is, x be the price. Okay. So this y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. Beta 1 and beta 2 are the parameters. The dependent variable being the demand. We are studying the impact of this price on demand. Now we know that there are other factors which determine the demand. Like the taste, preference, the seasonal impact etc. These can make changes in the quantity that is demanded. So how do you account for these things? It is here that econometrics comes to our aid. Here we add the term U. U is the random or the stochastic error. So that means in econometrics, the equations are divided into two parts. This is the deterministic part. Beta 1 plus beta 2 x is called as the deterministic part. And the part U is called as the stochastic part or the random error. That measures or captures what are unpredictable things or the other factors these factors that we had kept apart as satiris paribus will be captured by this particular term u. Now you calculate this, you find out this, you do the regression analysis using this particular equation. And this will tell you whether the theory is validated or not. Now when you look at this data itself here, since this is a hypothetical example, it is very very clear that it goes in line with the theory. But in real life situations, this may not be the case. Sometimes the demand can go up, irrespective of the hike in prices. So there are certain things which a researcher should keep in mind or a student should keep in mind while doing the analysis using econometrics. They should be always vigilant as to the study of the environment in which the uh, samples are being taken from. If there are other factors or outliers, outlier is the term which is being used by such, uh, is used to denote such factors which create an impact and changes the theoretical perception that is already in existence. So these factors you can keep apart or you can include them and you can give uh, an explanation for them. But sometimes you, you may come across some paradoxes which you can record as paradoxes and you can find out what are the reasons behind it. This will help you to give a solid cemented proof to the research work that is being done. We know that econometrics is divided into two, theoretical econometrics and applied econometrics. The two types of econometrics are again subdivided into classical econometrics and Bayesian econometrics, both theoretical as well as applied. In both ways, you can see that the theoretical economic econometrics under the classical or the Bayesian system helps to formulate theories or validate theories and the application side of that is taken by care of by the applied econometrics. So, on one side, you have the theoretical econometrics, which looks into the theoretical perspectives. And one side, you have the applied econometrics, which looks into the perspectives of applying the economic theory with empirical analysis and finding out the results. And you can make the predictions and forecasting later on. So, I think for today, this